Last fall, students protested about unacceptable conditions and education disparities in a rural Louisiana school district. The mold, the classrooms, the teachers, everything that you need in the school or could use in the school is not there. Shercold Bowman is the 17-year-old Block High School senior who led other students in protest. You don't feel like you've gotten the education you, you need? No, sir. Conditions at Block High School, where a majority of seniors are black, were noticeably worse than those at nearby Harrisonburg High School, where the majority of that class is white and just 13 miles away. Three months after our story published, the principal of Block High School resigned and the superintendent retired. The story caught the attention of a federal judge, Judge D. Drell, who ordered the school board and the Department of Justice appear in court to give him a progress report. A federal judge did go on record saying that the school board ignored a 2013 order that would have moved along a 1969 desegregation case. So we went back to Catahoula Parish for the hearing and to follow up with Shercold to see what's changed. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you again. Wow, you got a new uniform? <laughs> <laughs> so what, what changed? When we first met you, you didn't think you were prepared for college, and you were thinking about the military. When my story got out and so many people saw it, a lot of people was offering me help. At first I was like, no, they just talking, you know, they just doing that. But as I got more, you know, compliments and more options, I was like, well, this could be real. Various groups sent donations to the school and encouraged Shercold to go to college, offering her scholarships. This comes after students protested school conditions, racial division, and other problems. And they say they're already addressing things like improvements to classrooms. Overall, I think, you know, we're moving in a positive direction. Benny Volk is the athletic coach who inspired his students to speak out. What's changed specifically? We got a new superintendent, uh, got a new principal. Um, basically, the kids' attitudes change. Uh, just the, uh, the feeling that they know that there's some people out there that hear their voice. The NAACP showed up at the latest hearing in March to ask Judge Drell for permission to represent students and families of Block High School, which she granted. As for a possible path forward, the mayor of Jonesville says consolidating the school district is the only option. If all the schools in the parish are losing students, then that lets me know that we can all come together on, under one campus, you know, and then that way our, our teachers who are certified will be in one central location. I feel like, you know, the school is improving because of what the children did, and they have been heard out. And you know, it, it was the leaders who failed the children. It was us who failed the children. Do you support the idea of a consolidated school district? Oh yes. yes, oh yes. It is the right thing to do. It's down to necessity. The reality of it is, uh, if there's not enough money, then you can't support all of these schools. Oh, well, I'm taking my test tomorrow and I got a ride. <laughs> For students like Shercold, who once thought it was hopeless, there's now a real chance for a bright future. So if you could go to any university now, where would you go? I would go to UCLA. UCLA? Mm-hmm. So if UCLA is listening right now. <laughs> I want to come to your school, play softball. OK. Are you going to apply to UCLA? No, sir. Why not? Because it's out of state. And if I do get accepted and I do go, I'm going to cry for a real long time because I'm going to be away from my mom. The federal judge ordered that the school board and the Department of Justice file updates in the case every two months with more court dates to come.